Hello everyone, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac, which has been some time since I've played it, except I copied my save file, which it turns out you can do, just press Alt F2 in the stat screen of a new save file, and it will copy, presumably just the first one, into the new one. We're playing as Samson today, remember, not taking deals with the devil. The reason I mentioned that is because I used that file just to try and remember how to play the game. I feel very slow. Is that normal for Samson? Don't really start off with much either, except the bloody lust here, which is a pretty good item. But hmm, if we if we're taking damage sufficiently that well, three hits for these sufficiently that bloody lust is doing us uh, proud, then we have either got a blood bag, no IV bag, or something like that, or we're doing very badly just in general. So I'm going to try and remember how to play this game without royally screwing it up. Uh, we are on curse with the lost as well, so I guess we just keep going. Hope that we find our way without getting too lost. We've now got Curse of the Maze as well, so we have basically no chance. Remember that there is a bluish white pill that will give you Curse of the Maze. Curse of the Maze, everybody. We have one bomb, so we might as well do this. Although, for correct min maxing, well, it doesn't matter. I was going to say, for correct min maxing, you should um, not take the Spirit Heart until you have beaten the first boss lest you lose the spirit heart on the first boss, but in this case, there is no heck of a way that I'm coming back. So that room, trying to find it, uh, just to min-max, and it turned out not to be uh, important anyway, because there was no spirit heart, which is actually a bit of a shame. So, I guess we'll just be looking for our item room, hoping that it's got something decent in it, I'm hoping that the boss isn't a complete dick like Ragman. Which I'm sure is racist. It's racist, right? Can we call him Ragman? I mean... Edmund called him Ragman, so we're just reading what it says on the turn. Oh, jeez. Just make sure he stays over there near the fire. Is it laggy or is it me? I mean, if it's laggy, it's me. Probably because I'm rendering a video right now, but I, honestly, I'm sure that I've previously done this uh, and not had a problem with it. We will take shoot the whoop. Uh, shoot that fire before it shoots me. Hoping maybe our item room now doesn't contain... Yes, we've been there. Um, an active item, because this active item could be pretty good for us. Luckily, I recognise this room, so I know that we can continue. Uh, Curse of the Maze plus Curse of the Lost is a bit shit, quite frankly. I'm not sure if it's too framey for me. Um, I hope it's not too framey for you. But I'm feeling... I'm feeling saddened by it. Help. You fucking what, dickhead? That's one of those ones where it either works or it doesn't. Hematomesis, oh jeez. There's probably HP back in that room then. It's pretty good though. We might be able to get something out of this. There is one. So it didn't actually help us that much. Oi! Please. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I don't want to be here. I'm only going to play this twice, basically because we were at 1 HP already. But now that we've got so much more damage, I think this 1 HP should be enough. We have found the room we came to find. That's also very nice. It doesn't really help us because... Very well, we will get Seraphim. It doesn't really help us too much because I expect we can't actually get anything from this shop. Uh, not without spending way more HP uh, in order to get the money to buy something. But I was hoping maybe the Spirit Heart would be on cheap or something like that. And then it would be worth shooting some poops. There is min-maxing that can be done. And I didn't because... I don't care to. That's a bit of a shame. We can't do that. It's also a bit of a shame we don't have Shoot the Whip here, because this would be basically over already, but... Um, no, I think we're okay. This is a champion version of this boss as well, so if it hits us, we are dead. Uh, and I don't like the fact that it has shots with which to do set hitting us. Oh, God. Run away. Too many flies! Oh, jeez! That one hit me. But that boss is dead. There is no deal with the devil anyway. Pentagram is an excellent damage upgrade. Uh, I'm just going to leave so that I can purge all these curses and hope that we don't have per Purse of the Post on the next draw. Remember, not taking deals with the devil, so even if we do get one, we are not having it. Please. Why did you not take any damage from that? It saddens me and befuddles me. Seraphim is not as awesome as I thought it was. Honestly, I thought it was the orbital. Uh, but it's actually a a follower that is shooting. So maybe it's not actually all that good. Now we don't know how much HP we've got, which is <laughs> bad. Um, we've got one and a half. 
I'm not going to use it. We have two coins, so there's no real point going to the shop. Uh, unless that is not the shop and this is... One of these is a shop. The start room is the leftmost one, so this will be a library in my estimation. Correct. We can use... Hmm. We don't want to use... Okay, we don't actually want to go into the curse room at all because it will cost us our best chance at a deal with the devil, which we need to get and then walk away from. We can't walk away from it if we don't get it. Uh, maybe I should shoot the whoop here. That didn't really go to plan, but okay. And this will recharge once here, and hopefully this combat in here can recharge a second time. I would very much like... Perthro, yes. I would very much like Perthro, but I would also very much like a bomb. So that we can get that. There is Monstro. Monstro is mostly dead now. Please don't hit us, and then we'll be fine. I mean, it's a basement floor, so I don't really expect to have to worry about the fact we didn't get a spirit heart between now and then, and we didn't have to. We can Perthro this if we choose to. Ah, uh, I'm not going to. We can have a look at this, and happily, I actually don't want it. Um, may seem a little bit unbelievable, but it is true. I'm happy to leave that behind. We know where our um, item room is in theory, just because of the fact that Curse of the Curse of the Book of the Book of Secrets showed us. And we can perfect with that if we want, or we can hold on to the perfect room. There's no real rush to use it. It's not like we're trying to take something else slightly better down to the next floor, and I'm glad we have the damage to get through that room uh, as well as we did. Not a single bomb, and there is like a billion to freaking tinted rocks. The one tinted rock I did use, uh, like get on this entire run. Just gave his keys. Yeah. Dead eye. That was an excellent reroll, which I would do ten times out of ten, even if I didn't know what was coming up. Uh, we might use a key. Now, I'm not sure about this. If we use a key, we can pick a Book of Belial, and Book of Belial usually improves your chance of getting a deal with the devil. I'm not sure whether it improves your chance of getting a deal with the devil, or increases your chance of that door opening. Because if that door opens and it's an angel room, then we're quids in. That's what we want. Um, honestly, I want to use both of these. To get out of there for free. So, we can now use... Look, <laughs> I've now got the bomb. I feel so slow. The bomb will get us some decent stuff if we use it properly on some of these tinted rocks that are also gating other stuff. Now, there are many tinted rocks on this floor, which is a, a ridiculous quantity of tinted rocks for one floor. Maybe here? This seems likely, because the bomb will explode it. Yeah. Sweet. And a luck upgrade. That's nice. Then not that one, but we come back down here. Do you want to take Book of Belial and see what happens? I kind of like Shoop the Whoop now. Now that it's been buffed in Afterbirth. We've got 10 cents. I think I will take Book of Belial because I think it could just be that much more useful in future. Uh, Shoot the Weep is sort of a, a one shot. It's very much fire and hope that you do enough damage and then if you don't, um, it's kind of wasted. It's, it, it can go off like a damp squib very easily. So you can get this and min max for a another penny slightly. Looking for a secret room, there is not one there. That was a decent floor, and I think we've got plenty of HP to help us out, so I'm hoping that the fact we didn't take a deal with the devil and then um, on top of that we bring Book of Belial with us means that the Book of Belial effect applies to angel rooms rather than devil rooms. You can see now because this is scary. Dead Eye of course is going to give us a great damage upgrade, and on top of the uh, Book of Belial effect we should be good for damage for quite some time yet, provided we don't play terribly. So, I mean, with a low rate of fire, you have to get a few shots on target before your... Um, yeah, I might as well take it. I'm not coming back this way. Before your um, dead eye bonus comes back, you know, to, to full value. But honestly, that's not so many shots. And the dead eye value... Even after a couple of hits, is pretty strong. I'm trying to hit those ones. Everything feels really slow. I'm not going to do that. I might have to cancel this uh, render in a very unprofessional way, but then I'm not professional, so it would be unprofessional, wouldn't it? Uh, this is shit. I'm not even going to take it because it's a spacebar item. 
No bombs, but I would like to get some... At least that um, a nickel in there. We, we could get two bombs for two of clubs, I recognise. I'm hoping to get more value out of two of clubs than... Well, I mean, it's hard to suggest that all that money is not good value out of two of clubs. But I'm hoping that maybe we can get a couple of bombs to, to double and then we get even more value out of it. And then we get value out of the extra value that we got and therefore... It snowballs. It's like compound interest, probably. Who knows? Couldn't anyone really say that they were listening in the lessons where we talked about compound interest? Couldn't say I did. I remember the maths of it. Or at least, I remember having learned the maths of it. And then whenever I've needed to actually calculate it, I've put it into a thing on the internet that remembers the maths for me because we are in the information age and we don't have to remember things. That's what computers are for. We just program them with the algorithms that we use in everyday life. And then ask those computers to crunch the numbers using a very simple input-output process known as a keyboard monitor. Uh, I actually don't want any of this. Hoping for maybe an arcade. Did we have enough? Oh, it's a, it's a first floor. Of course it's an arcade. What are you talking about? One shot on these is pretty nice. Unless one of them was Seraphim shot, in which case I'm also quite happy with that. Please start it. Very good. Yeah, Seraphim's doing some decent damage, I think. It's got homing shots, and I believe it can. Ooh, I believe it can catch bullets for us too. We might as well speed up a little bit, try and get this um, floor out of the way ASAP. Where are you? Move on. Try and catch up to Boss Rush if we can. Did get a deal with the devil again. Oh, you fucking dick. <laughs> Let's take it. We'll take this. Well, I, want, I don't really want Mom's knife. It doesn't really synergize with what we've got. So I'll take Spirit of the Night, which lets us fly. What's this going to do for us? Retrovision, not really helpful. Uh, fuck it, let's go. I took a deal with the devil because I don't really want to make the run less fun. Just to get those elusive items. And honestly, I haven't played for some time. I'd like my first game back to be some, some fun. So we've got the uh, goat head now. I'm hoping... Although I'm trying to say it in case I jinx it or some similar superstitious nonsense. Um, that we get something like chaos and then it doesn't matter that we're doing deals with the devil because our item rooms could contain the items we need and, you know, our devil rooms could contain shit so we don't need to spend our HP any further. And we're never going to get an angel room. I'm fairly certain of that. I don't think you can now. So this one's going to explode. Yeah, yeah. That spider just sort of immediately attacked in a position I was not anticipating. Which is a shame, because that was the sort of thing that could kill you as a lost. Then I suppose as a lost, if he's playing a little bit more defensively and hanging out in slightly more sensible positions. We have already found the boss, which is inconceivable. So we can leave this floor whenever we want. Provided I can hit anything. We now, of course, have only 3 HP, so we can't take anything. We don't have... Unless it uh, gives us HP or a life. Um, or both. We can't actually take anything now. But that's okay. I mean, we can come back with more HP after we've done some more of this floor. Because we have the go ahead, and the go ahead will force the deal with the devil door to be open, even if we go away from back later. That was a very easy Gurdy fight. That is the version of Gurdy that is very easy, which is probably why that is the case. This gave us HP, so we can take something now if we want to. I'm not sure. Ah. Uh, I mean, Book of Belial. It's interesting. I'm going to take it. The reason I'm going to take it is Book of Belial was ooh, basically there so that we could get these deals with the devil, but now, of course, we have the goat head. Uh, we don't need it, and our damage is pretty good already, especially with the dead eye bonus. Now, I, I'm given to understand that using the nail actually gives you a small damage downgrade um, to the room. You know, whilst you're in that transformed state. Yes, we'll take Eden's Blessing. That'll make the next run, if I ever record one, slightly better. And we've got enough money to make this worthwhile as well. We'll probably take Piggy Bank. Seems okay. Now, we'll blow this up at cost, I hope. Yeah. And now we can go back and get that money. Was that on this floor? Maybe it was. Maybe it was on the last floor, which we did leave very quickly. So, probably should have spent some time getting that, if that's the case. But it's not a, really a huge deal, having... You know, 9... 13, 14 extra cents, I think it was. 
So, yeah, what can we hope to achieve 14 extra cents that we haven't already achieved by throwing away our angel room chances and going for the devil rooms instead? Maybe we should go this way. <laughs> Since there's rooms we haven't explored, we might as well explore them. Now, I've taken the left hand because red chests could be good for us. They don't take keys. So all golden chests will certainly have become red chests. So that's our question marks pill, so I'm not going to take it. Uh, we'll almost certainly have become red chests. Well, we'll certainly have become red chests. Therefore, we don't have to spend keys to get them, but we don't get um, golden chest rewards. That's not very good. But it does mean we can get red chest rewards vis-a-vis -vis guppy items. Which is what I'm hoping for. And spirit hearts and such good things like this. I should probably be using this more often. It does let you stomp rocks, but... I don't really consider that all that worthwhile. We haven't got any red hearts left, so why have you gone in there? Good question. And I did keep the two of clubs sort of beyond, beyond the point where we should have used it if we needed to get anything good out of it. So now it's just <laughs> waiting until we get something better and then we'll use the two of clubs and carry on. Two is probably worth it. Probably right here. A couple of pills that I don't know that I want to use. Is down. I definitely didn't want to use that. Teleport. Relax. Well, that's going to make the chub fight interesting, because the peeps are going to get in his way. <clears throat> Luckily, there's only two bosses at this stage. And with uh, a boss like this, Deadeye's bonus is going to be huge. As long as it doesn't jump, which it did. Help. <laughs> Interfering with your own guys. Which is, I mean, it's your prerogative, and I'm not one to judge. So I'm hoping to get something decent out of these red chests, that's why I took the left hand. Also because, why not mix it up a bit? I mean, we've had some decent runs recently and I've already decided to hell with the angel room stuff. So why not go all out and just go full on devil mode on this this run. Everything we do is devilish indeed. Yeah, we don't need that. I mean, we saw the damage that we were doing against those bosses in the boss trap room. And honestly, I'm perfectly contented with that amount of damage right now. We have got what I call a lot of HP right now, so I think we should be okay to not worry too much about the fact we've got Curse of the Unknown. These things, though. Hate him. Hate him. Come on, then. I'll oh, bite your legs off! Yeah, these things are falling apart quick. So I think we're okay as long as we get the dead eye bonus. But I would like a damage upgrade for when we don't have that. I think that puts us at or near full HP entirely in spirit hearts. Which means we, we need to know that basically because we need to know whether we can afford the next deal with the devil if it's something we think we want. It's going very fast now. Can I please pick it up? Thank you. Let's just go over here. Sure we've got nothing. On someone who can fly. We should go into here as well. We'll use this now. Now we've definitely got full HP. And now we've lost a little bit. It's fine. So, how are you? How are you enjoying this run? I'm, personally, I'm finding it quite uh, an agreeable return to form. Ooh. Agreeable return to form. And you can tell it's return to form because I'm being exploded by enemies I forgot would explode me. Because, of course, these things spawn into bomb players. Our damage is fine. We can fly. We can fly twice over because we got Leviathan unexpectedly. I think this is the one we can't hurt. Yeah. It's annoying. It's slightly annoying we don't have some form of piercing shot or status effect that means these things are not quite so dickish. But I mean, we're doing fine. Take paperclip. I mean, the the left hand is fun. You can get some decent stuff out of these red. Chests that spawn as a result of it, but ooh. I can see for honestly, I am more than happy to take the lockpick because then our golden chests are free, and we can maybe get Guppy's head out of that anyway, uh, and many other decent items besides. Sin Rhodes is great. Krampus is basically what we just did, except there's only one of it. And we've oh, seen that our damage is good enough to keep the fallen. Hands down. Handedly. Don't really need that. So, let's go and find our item room and probably our shop at 26 cents. That seems like a good idea too. We go, did we go into the curse room? We did go into the curse room. At cost. Don't think we could have gone into it uh, sideways from a secret room because it's a small room. So I expect 
Well, it, we picked up I Can See Forever and then I immediately forgot, so we know where our secret rooms are. We're doing so much damage. Nothing can stop us now. Nothing can stop us now. You expect me to maybe do Queen? Ah, Tim Minchin. How can you not expect me to go for Tim Minchin over Queen? Do you even know me? How long have we been together? Queen. Seriously? You should check out uh, Tim Minchin if you don't know him. Very accomplished pianist. Uh, and everyone likes a very accomplished pianist. Let's see what's in here. Small rock would be great. More keys would also be great. I think one bomb for two keys is more than worthwhile. And at some point, I'm going to use my uh, two of clubs, but it is not this day. Why did I go into this room? I want the prestige. And the chest that I knew was going to drop. <laughs> Thanks, Lazy Worm. Lazy Worm is great if you've got Tech X. But I don't. So it's not. Because uh, Tech X shots when they travel more slowly benefit you more greatly because they spend more time over the enemies. Mystery Sack will do. Uh, everything's half price, so I suppose we take the battery. That way we can store up two charges on our nail. Otherwise, I kind of don't give a shit. We should probably donate, but we can do that on the next floor. Dank Depth 1. Because we were slow early on, I don't think we're going to be able to get to Boss Rush at this rate. Uh, we have sped up considerably. It's taken us a lot less time to do the previous floor than it did, uh, this floor than it did to do the previous one, but we're probably not going to get through this floor. And besides, if we're going to do boss rush, we want to do boss rush with a teleport card. And we haven't got one, so um, I, I don't want to actually do boss rush. I don't want to go through with it. I'd like to get out. It'd be great to be able to steal something and leave, but it ain't going to happen. Again, we don't really need to use the nail as often as possible now that we have the battery to give us a second charge, but at the same time, I mean, why not use it? I'm getting bored of holding to a club, so I'm just going to use it. Here you go. Happy now? Yeah, Mysterious Liquid is actually a very good item, in my humble opinion. I wouldn't have minded getting some HP by now, but okay. Uh, <laughs> very well. Let's get some damage upgrades. Don't mind spending the black hearts, we've got basically an infinite supply of them right now. Don't really need the money, but a couple of hits helps here. Just to improve our damage at base when we don't have the dead eye bonus. What? You spawned an enemy? Made me take even longer? We have found the boss fight, so we could go through with boss rush. But uh, I'm, I'm honestly not going to bother. I don't really care. Um, I would. Although we have found everything I care about. Look, let's let's try it. See if we can get it done. We found the item room on the way past. And we might as well just, you know, speed up a little bit. Why not? Ah, fudge. One more. Oh, we did it. Now we can ignore the deal with the devil. Go in here, see if we want anything. Kind of don't. The body doesn't really help me. I took a lot of damage just now, I freely admit. This is a terrible idea. Oh, Empty Vessel gives you HP. You see that son of a bitch. Uh, I'm going to keep this. On the principle that we may get HP later, we've got enough bombs to have a look in Tinted Drops, and I just don't really care. I'm basically playing by the seat of my pants right now, um, which I am wearing. Thank you for asking. Toxic Liquid, Mysterious Liquid, is going to very much help against any enemy that's on the ground, which is a lot of that fight. Hoping to find Tinted Rocks. We could easily get HP, just normal old HP, in the future. We of course I have uh, Empty Vessel, which is going to give us Invincibility for free every so often, unreliably, for no expense to ourselves, and we will definitely take Curved Horn for a damage increase like the world has never seen before. We have a Perthrow rune. Maybe we Perthrow Guppy's head. Or maybe we Perthrow whatever this boss gives us. Or maybe one of these contains an active item that we want to reroll. We're doing so much damage. Curved Horn is of course doing, uh, doing us a great service. I believe it's double damage. 
and we've actually got some really decent damage upgrades after I asked for them. So I cannot complain. There's Steven, so there's even more damage. Uh, probably shouldn't have taken Abel with the Perth Rune, but I'd rather re-roll a boss item, I think, or a devil item, than, than that. We didn't get uh, Chaos, which is a shame, but, you know, every now and then you got to have a, a run off of... I mean, I want to liken it to, to the grind, the daily grind. You know, you're day in, day out, just searching, mining for these um, elusive extra items that spell the difference between you and eternal glory in the halls of Isaac players of Valhalla. But, you know, you got to keep your morale up a little bit. you got to make sure that you actually want to come back to playing the game. And I think doing a deal with the Devil Run when you've got the options that we did uh, is that run. Can you not get swallowed by those if you're flying? Very good question. Thank you for asking. I don't really intend to you know, test it. 22 minutes. Skolex fight. Skolex doesn't give us a known drop, so hopefully we get something that I actually want so that we can re-roll the devil or vice versa. Which means hopefully the devil gives me something I want so we can re-roll what Skolex gives me. Or maybe they both give me something I want and I can keep my re-roll. That would be ideal. If you want to do the thing where I can actually do you damage, that would be super splendid. See, once you do that, I don't really want that. Or that. Or this enemy that is attacking me for no reason in a devil room. Gimpy probably helps. That's pretty dangerous, actually, considering I'm not sure how much HP we've got. So we take this. Uh, Retrovision relapse twice. Or... What is this one? Hematomesis. That could help it. Mm. If we can find a secret room with black hearts in it, Hematomesis can actually super help out there. Maybe a future pill will be. I can see forever or something, but I'm not going to spend forever looking for the super secret room on a Curse of the Lost Floor when it could basically be anywhere. No. Give me something cool. Three bombs. Well, can't win them all. But nothing can stop us now in my head. Hope you uh, appreciate the pains I go to to produce these runs. That that'll be the Tim Minchin song. Not can't stop me now by Queen. I understand there is no well, there's no Queen song that I know that has uh, nothing can stop me now as now in it as a specific lyric, but maybe there is. I don't know. Who am I? I'm just a person on Tinternets. You are um quite scarily close to dying. Nope. If we get a teleport card, I might consider going to the curse room. But there's no secret room next to it, so... At this stage, it can kick my ass. I'm going to say kick my ass, which is true. And I should probably say kick my ass, because I am English, but I have been Americanized by American YouTubers. Um, by which I mean the continent of America and not the... United States of America. Of course, there is no country called America, so if you want to be pedantic, that is how to do it. There is the United States. Well, there might actually be a country called America, but maybe it's not the United States of America. If there is, okay? Pedantry, schmedantry. We are not fighting Hush because I hate you and I don't want you to have fun. I did complain, actually. I didn't complain, but I did note that we had not taken any items that would help us against those things that you can only hit from behind and then we got an item that helps us against those things that you can only hit from behind. That's what our devil has for us today. It's no Krampus. Uh, I think yes. Okay. This will give us HP. We take it. We want to die. These are free HPs. If we die first... Yes, we die first. Doesn't matter where we die, to be honest, but... Oh, five minutes. <laughs> Let me die. Make sure we don't get exploded down. 
The usual trick is to die outside of the devil room so you respawn inside it. But, of course, that doesn't matter right now. I was right about the mark giving us uh, HP. Phew. Because if I was wrong about that, that would be sad times, right? I would have died twice for no reason. We are now Judas, even though we started as Samson. Uh, we have even more freaking damage. Of course, Dead Eyes bonus is going to be stacking that up even further. Two to a club, we'll just use it. Uh, we have also picked up the Mark, which is a damage upgrade. What hit me? No, you don't understand. What hit me? I, I disagree. I wish to file an appeal. But the things that you thought were hitting me were in fact the very things I was dodging. So we have to not die. That's quite important. Our guppy's head flies are certainly helping, probably more than the Book of Belial ever was, which is not what we gave up, we gave up the nail, which would probably have given us many HPs by now, but I still would have lost them all to come back as Dark Judas. In fact, we would have had way more, so I probably would have not wondered, uh, not mm, had such an easy time about deciding whether to come back as Dark Judas, whereas now, of course, we have all these advantages to our advantage. I guess the main good thing about... Um, Careful. Having Guppy's head, but also the batteries. If you get a, a room that gives you two charges, I suppose you get both charges. You can use it twice. I don't actually know. There is a tinted rock here. I saw, despite the Curse of Darkness game, see what you're trying to do. And I have found the boss because I am amazing and know where to go. That's not a spirit heart. Neither is that. Uh, I guess we use the devil card in here. Pop off, guys. And just go to town on Isaac, uh, hoping that we can get him to the final phase before he attacks us with any random bullshit from heaven. Which is the case. We've avoided all angels, angel fetuses, uh, and all random beams of light from heaven. I think we're fine here. Yeah, we're fine. Nothing to worry about. What are you complaining about? Don't even... Don't even mention it. I'm going to take Hematomesis on the off chance that it's even remotely good. Get some flies. Now into the final floor. We're not even at half an hour yet, so this is actually turning out to be an extremely strong run. You can see how it just immediately turned from bullshit to amazing. Uh, okay. Attack point five is great. Zodiac could be great, depending on which one it gave us. Infestation 2 is great. And I'm not going to take Unicorn Stump. And the only reason I'm not going to take Unicorn Stump is that we don't have an Orbital. So, you know, having having the invincibility is fine. We've already got an invincibility from um, Empty Vessel, which is obviously not something we can rely on, unlike Unicorn Horn Stump. Unicorn Horn Stump. But Unicorn Horn Stump, you can't... So, wow, that just immediately died thanks to our prowess with flies. Very happy with that. Joker, two of hearts. Two of hearts. Pretty much relying on the fact that we have um, the empty vessel of invincibility every so often. Yeah, we did get both charges, so that's really good. So I'm not even worried about the possibility of getting an HP upgrade ever. Fine, why not? I think we effectively used our Perthro rune, so I'm just looking at Able going. We've got Able, but um, we could have had something else by re-rolling Able, but I'm remembering that that Perthro rune that we didn't use like that actually turned out to give us something decent from the deal with the devil, I believe. Give us Gimpy. Yeah. That's not much use to me. Uh, that's not much use to me. Well, that is not the way to the boss, so I guess we continue. We might as well go to this big room. No doubt it'll be the one we have to do, so we'll do it. Fine. Very much appreciating these things basically dying immediately. Having Toxic Shock against Monstro here is also helping. <clears throat> I think Abel may have got that kill. Unbelievably. The soul is three... Sp the soul is two spirit hearts, which is basically... As far as I'm concerned, that is sufficient to win. Little Horn could actually be bad for us, depending on who it decides to... In fear, but that's okay. Because we're doing so much damage, I'm feeling supremely confident. And therefore, I believe that with five spirit hearts, 
we're done. We don't, don't forget we have permanent Polaroid invincibility, so if we do get hit, there's going to be a refractory period during which we can still attack without taking damage. Um, and that is going to be long enough that our tears are basically going to waste anything that has hit us thus far. We have no chance of death, I suppose. Infested with a question mark is fine. I'm just expecting him as a to give me some spirit hearts on her. <laughs> I don't know what I'm expecting. I'm waiting for it to be an amazing super secret room. A super, super secret room, and it's going to have eternal... Well, I don't want eternal hearts. I want, you know, black hearts, basically. The trouble is, I'm doing so much damage that I'm accidentally wasting the, uh, the bonus from Deadeye because things are dying and there's still shots on the screen and then those are missing. What? No worries, I'll explode this. Oh yeah, brilliant. What way to fucking end an amazing run with a Giga Beam. Mega Beam, Giga Oh no, that's Love Toots, isn't it? That took zero time. Thank you for watching. I enjoyed this run. I'm glad I took a deal with the devil because a deal with the angel run would have been boring as shit. But we'll get back to that in the next episode. So until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you.